Greetings, everyone. Big shout out to all the hardworking men in Jamaica and the world for that matter. Bless up all these men who say to themselves, I don't want children until I can find a place to put my children. It doesn't matter if you live in one room or your house is made from touch or from bricks. As long as you know within yourself as a man, you're going to provide a place for your woman and your children. Big up all the men who rise early before the sun comes out. And even if you're not working for someone, you're working for yourself, you find work in and around your house to keep you occupied. And if you live on land, you know, you plant your food. And if you have no job created by another man, you find a way how to take care of you and your family. Bless up yourself. Now, what I'm about to say can go for women as well, but I'm not talking about the women today. I'm talking about the men. Listen, I'm talking about some lazy men. People, I'm allergic to lazy men. I don't even like to see a guy walk slow. Honestly, maybe I'm prejudiced. Listen, I don't like lazy men. In other words, Jamaicans call them worthless men. I don't like men who stay in bed all day and his woman has to get up and go to work and leave him there. Some years ago, a lady told me about the reason why she, her and her husband broke up. She said when she would get up in the morning at 4 a.m. in the morning to get ready for work, and when she's leaving and her husband is sleeping, it didn't bother her so much. But when she gets home at night, she, of course, when she's leaving, you know, a certain part of the man's anatomy is tossed one side. And when she comes home in the evening, it's tossed the other side. He stayed in bed all day. To me, that is one of the worst characteristic of a man. This is why some of them live their entire life and they don't achieve anything. They're lazy, good for nothing. I don't understand how women can find any kind of feelings in their body to really lie down and allow these ones to climb up on. I just don't get it. We're not talking about guys who, you know, find themselves going through a hard time in their life and very little opportunity. Even those guys, when you watch them, you watch the way they move, you can tell. So you ladies who, for example, you're so desperate for a man and you go home to Jamaica and nothing is wrong with you wanting to be with your own men from your own country. But when you go home now, you're looking at this guy and he's so handsome and he's surely ever clean because he should not be called a man's name. If you're a man and you're not going out there and make it happen for yourself and you're depending on a woman to make it happen for you, you are a good for nothing, lazy man. Okay? When I look at people um, starting YouTube channels in Jamaica, for example, and the kind of things they come up with, the ideas they come up with, you can say to yourself, that guy, if he had an opportunity, he would do great things with his life. Because what he's doing is taking lemons and turning it into lemonade. I cannot stand lazy man. I cannot stand a lazy man. They make me sick. Because these are the lazy men that are going to get you pregnant and are going to watch you struggle through the pregnancy and going to see you go out there and do what you need to do just to buy diapers, just to buy milk, just to buy formula. And you better believe it that these kind of lazy men, after they get you pregnant and you give birth to their children that they're not supporting, when they come to your house, if they're not living with you, they will eat your food. They will eat the last food you have for the baby and go away. These are the kind of men that will come to your house with a box of KFC if you're into that. And they will buy one piece of chicken and some fries and sit there and eat it in front of their children. Oh my goodness, don't get me started. 
Okay, ladies, you have to take responsibility for your action. So some of us older ladies, you know, we find a guy in Jamaica and when we go there, we break them bad buy cars for a guy to do what is he gonna run a taxi with it he's not working he doesn't do anything throughout the day you buy him a car to do what to go drive around and find other women what is wrong with you ladies i said this wasn't about you excuse me i went off these men they have all kinds of excuse where are the good men i remember growing up and seeing my uncle get up in the morning with his hoe over his shoulder and his cutlass in his hand and he heads off to the farm and he works until the evening, come home with his bag of yam or whatever food he has on his shoulder to provide for his family. These guys, man, when you listen to men talk nowadays in Jamaica, you have to say to yourself, no, 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 no. These guys are cast mm, tread dead. <laughs> Where are the men? And how can women lie down with these kind of men? Get a life. Now, a lot of us as women, we meet these men. And when we find out that they are destruction, mm -hmm. we cry and we say they are so evil. You have to take responsibility. What is it about the guy that made you fall so madly in love with him? A guy who is not doing anything. If he doesn't have a whole bunch of seedlings tossed all around the place that he's not supporting he's just sitting there in his mama's house if you're a man and you have any dignity you should have your own little space if you live in your mama's house you're paying rent you're doing your part and if hard time reaches you and you have to stay at your mama's house have a plan have a plan to get out of that situation it's just not cute. I don't like hearing men make excuses about life. Because if, as I said, you have no job, create one. And that's why I have a problem with some of the men that are on, on social media. Just talking, talking, talking. You can't just talk. You have to do something. A woman can't just sit down and talk all day either. She has to clean her house, take care of her children. If she's not doing that, she's not a good woman. And you have nothing to offer anybody because if you're just depending on your, you know, your lumber that you have in your pants, you know, that's going to wear thin very soon with a woman who's ambition, ambitious, sorry, because a woman wants a man that she can build with. Um, and any woman that is going to pour all her, her everything in a man that is not ambitious, you know, that woman is not ambitious either. And if she is ambitious and she was giving him a chance and they believe that somebody can grow with her and then when she gets together with him, he's not about anything, he's not doing anything, he's about partying, he's about getting dressed up, you know, he's about drinking, which by the way, nobody's telling you all that. But you see, alcohol is one of the leading cause of D in Jamaica with young people see them with the bottle in their hand and standing up like they have some kind of back home they used to say bosun that when when these people have problem with their prostate or whatever and they stand with a bottle and they drink it from the bottle oh my god it disgusts me and a lot of the young boys or young men are doing this and we are the older men to inspire them to teach them you know just recently i was asking someone we are all the spiritual Men, we are the one, the leaders in our midst, just busy on social media, gossiping and, you know, bragging about what women have done for them or what women are doing for them. Get a life. And women, you meet these men that you don't find them pushing. You should find him pushing. It doesn't matter how hard life is. If you don't find him pushing, stay away. That is an example that that is a loser. And he's just going to come and use you until he find another lady to use when you can no longer put up with his usury. Do you understand? Why are you falling in love with what? Because he's handsome? Because he's cute? Well, you're going to have to pay him to stay handsome. And it's going to cost you to keep him cute. 
Young girl, get a life. What are you doing with this guy that everybody wants because of the way he looks? What about his character? What about his ambition? There's a way to see if somebody's ambitious. They have very little and the way they work with it, that's what you look at. I remember some years ago I was traveling. I went to Jamaica and I was going through this community and I saw a room, a one bedroom made from plywood. And it was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. I called it my storybook house. The guy painted it in this beautiful color and around it he planted his little garden. And I was like, who owns this house? It was so tiny and it was so well made and it's so cute. He built his one bedroom house. That guy, you can go to Jamaica and you can be with him because there is potential. You see a little guy with a little shop at the front of his yard and he's selling his little goods. Potential. A guy who, you know, has a little garden in his yard, plant his flowers. Potential. The guy doesn't have a job, but he creates a job. And in the time while he's waiting to find a job, he's beautifying his space. And what he's doing, he learns a trade that he can make furniture from his backyard. Or he can plant his farm. There's a way to tell when a man is just lazy. You know, these big, tough back gray men sit around every day on their scrotum. Oh my goodness. How can you as a man and you sit at the side of the road and you're just, you know, just talking with another guy and just looking there and sleeping after women and those girls have no ambition. If I'm walking around my community and I see a guy who doesn't have a job and he's not trying to do anything for himself and he's calling out to me, I think I would break out in hives. I wouldn't be rude, of course, because you can't be rude to these guys when they're those kind of guys when they call out to you. You can't be rude. You have to just be nice about it. But in your in your mind, you know, I would break out in a hive. I don't like worthless men. I don't like lazy men. Lazy men are not good for anybody. Okay, you stay far away from lazy man. Don't allow them to procreate with you. Or you're going to get make this man plant his seed in your body and he's not going to be there to help you raise it, to help you take care of this child. And then you're going to be bitter and say he ain't all this. When you saw most of the time, ladies, you saw that the man was good for nothing. You saw it and you got, you know, enticed by his sweet tongue. Don't do it. Take your eyes and look. It's not about feeling. Use your eyes to pick your partner. Watch the man who has ambition. It's, there's a way to tell. If you see him getting up every day and complaining, oh, I can't find any work, and you never see him try to find a job. You never hear him ask you to fix his resume. You never see him go try to learn a skill or go watch somebody who's already skilled to see if he can learn. Lazy man. And if you bring that one to foreign, He's just going to stay there until you have to throw him out or he's going to find somewhere else to go stay when you can't tolerate him. Lazy man, worthless man, a man who is ambitious, he will go out and buy himself some phone cards and sell it. Yes, he will go out there, buy some cheeses and sell it to the children at the school gate. There's no excuse for any lazy man and for anybody to put themselves with any worthless and lazy man. If you're lazy and you hear this video, sorry. If you are offended, but it's the truth, do something about yourself, man. You're called a man. You are made in the anatomy that you're in for you to come out here and, and, and be a, you know, take charge kind of person. Yes. Do better, man. Do better. Stay blessed, everybody.